ready. Hey everyone, it's me, Romania. With a day from Romania, welcome to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, stay with us, become a part of the family. We would love to have you. We do some wild and crazy things on this channel. <laughs> so come on in and join and share, share, share. Invite your family and your friends and your enemies. Just invite everybody. And if you're already a part of the family, thank you, thank you so much for all your love and support. Uh, I have some people on here that really rock it out. They support me, they comment, they just are awesome. And I have something great in store for you all. So come on and be a part of that group. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I'm so, so sorry, I could not go live. Um, I didn't know that, you know, this is be this is my first time. I did not know that. So I don't even want to take the chance of saying, oh, I'm going live until I know for sure I can. So I decided that I'm just going to share my story through the video. I really want to do it live so we can discuss it. But YouTube say you know. And I look a hot mess. No, I don't look a hot mess. I'm going to stop saying that. Because today I just have my hair back in a bun. And I have on my Adidas shirt, <laughs> my Adidas hoodie. I'm about, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm about to go to Kroger and Audi. Yesterday I went to Kroger and I got sick in Kroger, dizzy, and I've been in just so much pain, which leads to the story of what happened. So I'm gonna start talking about it. I might go into the store, you might see a haul. It's just gonna be a whole video. So go get you something to drink, get you something to eat, get relaxed and hang out with me. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. And uh, I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna put it out today or tomorrow, we'll see. But I just wanted to tell you all this because it's been a week and I'm still, oh, I need my glasses on y'all. Y'all can tell me I have my glasses on. <laughs> But, so anyway, I suffer, I have diabetes. Oh, I know I brought, hold on y'all, let me, let me get my glasses, let me get them, I know I brought them. I stuck them right in here. Oh, here they are. Uh, I have diabetes, mm -hmm. I have fibromyalgia, which I just got that diagnosis a couple months ago. I have chronic pain, I have neuropathy from head to toe, <laughs> but it's bad the neuropathy is bad so I am in pain 24 hours I'm in pain now I can smile I can uh halfway look decent but I'm in pain and people think because you're not in just bent over which y'all don't see that that I do be bent over I, I'm in the bed most of the time and it's not comfortable it's not lazy. It's just the pain is so bad you cannot function. Like right now, I'm it's taking everything out of me. And that's why I tried to do it yesterday because I knew I would be able to sleep a little bit if I worked through the pain. It, it, it's terrible. Like I'll make plans and then I'll have to cancel them at the last minute. I can't travel because if I make plans to travel and the pain is so bad, it's just a waste of money because I can't enjoy it I'm not on any opioids and I won't go on because opioids they're not gonna take away the pain they're just maybe put you to sleep for a minute and give you a little relief and this and so many people say well try this try that try this try that it's unless you're going through it it's hard to understand like it's layers to this pain and the deepest layer is the neuropathy neuropathy i'm sorry neuropathy i'm gonna put a definition of neuropathy up here but it's in my nerves like my nerves from what how the doctor subscribe sub, uh subscribed it explained it <laughs> subscribed it how the doctor explained it my nerves are coated in sugar coated in sugar and it has destroyed them so it's no really coming back from it it's nothing that I've been on every medicine you could think of. Not opioids, but medicine like for to try to help it, to try to help ease the pain and 
Uh, I don't even have the heat on y'all. What is wrong with me? So I've been on everything. And it does not work. It sometimes, like, it'll make me, uh, hold on y'all, it's on high. I don't, I don't know if y'all can hear me. It, it might make me sleep a little bit. Uh, I was on a muscle relaxer, I was taking that. My body got used to it. Your body gets used to things. So it, it doesn't help. It's hard for me to sit. It's hard for me to stand. Right now, I'm, that's why I had to give me a car with heated seats. Like I'll have the heated seats on in the summer probably because it helps a little bit with the pain and helps me driving. My hands hurt so bad, it's hard to hold a phone. It's hard to do anything. That's why I, I talk text a lot and my texts would be all over the place. So anyways, everybody tries to give me something or some type, of, some type of suggestions, which I love. And I try them. I try them. You know, most of them. I try them. So someone very close to me in my family, uh, they had their wisdom tooth pulled out and it was a lot of pain. So I don't know if the doctor suggested it. I'm not sure. But they got some THC Tintra oil. So they called me and said, I'm going to get you this oil. It helped me. And I'm like, okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll try it. You know, I know it's not no narcotics. <laughs> you know, it's not no illegal narcotics. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fine. I'll try it. So I had it for a couple days. I didn't really read up on it. That was the first mistake. I should have read up on it and it researched it, but I didn't. And so Saturday, the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, it was probably about maybe 12 o'clock at night, 11.30, somewhere around there. I'm in so much pain, y'all. Like, it's Valentine's Day. I can't enjoy the weekend with my husband. We have plans, and we can't even do them. So I said, let me find this oil. I'm taking it. I'm just going to try it. I haven't researched it, but I know my family member took it. They didn't tell me how much to take. I, I didn't even see them when they brought it. But anyway, so... <laughs> I took it. I opened it and I read and I thought that it said take a drop droplet full. I'll put a picture here and I'll show you because I should have brought it so I could show you what the drop drop is. Droplet. So I thought it said take a droplet. I took a whole droplet. And it said it's going to take uh, I think anywhere from 60 to 90, 90 minutes to work. So I took it and I went and laid down. And I told my husband, he was asleep, but I woke him up. I said, I took the, the oil. And I said, do you want some? Cause he's a cook and he's in pain. He said, yeah. So I gave him a droplet and a half because I thought the first droplet didn't go in and I'm putting, he's half sleeping. He ain't really paying attention to tell me, no, it didn't, it didn't go. So, <laughs> so I take a whole droplet. So I'm laying there watching YouTube on my phone because he had to work on Valentine's Day in the morning and I didn't want to disturb him. So I'm watching YouTube on my phone and watching Mary, Marriage and Motherhood. Shout out to her. I love her. I love Gia. You guys have, I, I'm gonna put her link somewhere up here or her page. Y'all have to watch her. So I, she has so many videos and I just love to watch her. I love the way her family interacts. So anyway, I was watching her. And all of a sudden, I feel like my brain popped, like a pop in my brain. And the the video started looking funny. Uh, I started feeling funny. And I, I'm, I'm trying to wake my husband up, but I can't because I'm thinking I'm trying to wake him up. But, but I, I guess I wasn't. Then I finally was able to wake him up. Oh, I missed my turn. I was finally able to wake him up and I'm like, something is wrong. And he's like, what are you talking about? I started screaming and crying. I'm like, something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. I thought, it felt at that moment as I was, I don't know how it feels to have a stroke, but I mean, a, a real stroke. I know, I remember when I had my stroke in my eye, which I wanted to tell you about. So let's pause. I had a stroke in my eye in 2018 in May. I was driving and something popped and something started feeling funny, but I didn't pay attention because I have migraine. So I'm thinking, oh, I'm about to get a migraine. But we went on with our day and as the day went on, my vision started acting up. Like I, I, it was hard for me to see. I'm looking at stuff and it just looks weird. So 
my eyes went double for the longest. I had double vision and my eyes was crossed. It was embarrassing. I had to wear a patch. It was bad. So anyway, so that's what it felt like. I have what is called a six nerve palsy. That's why my eye gets low sometimes. So that's what I thought was happening again, kind of. So I'm going to pause it right here. So, because I'm about to go into Audis. And when I get back in the car, we'll continue to talk about when the brain popped. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I'm back in the car. I got some things from Audis. I'll show y'all when I get home. It was like, I think I spent like $54. I'll look when I get home. Oh, my nail. I got to find something to clip my nail. Um, so anyway, brain pop. That's where we were back. So it felt like something popped in my brain and things started acting crazy. So I told you about the stroke I had in my eye and how that it felt similar. So I thought that's what was happening. So I'm explaining this story the best of my ability. And after talking to my husband, like some things I can't remember or some things I remember it didn't happen <laughs> so anyway so i started screaming and i'm like i don't know what's wrong then i thought maybe my sugar was either too low or too high so i'm trying to explain to him where my glucometer is some things he heard some things he didn't because i thought i was saying it but i wasn't it was crazy y'all so he found my glucometer i tested my sugar it was like two something but it wouldn't you know that's kind of how mine is so it wouldn't have triggered that so he did that and then it just kept getting worse. I'm like, cause it felt like it would happen, but then it didn't happen. It's so hard to explain. Like something happened, like I did this motion, but then it felt like it didn't happen. I had to do the motion again, or it either felt like it happened years ago. It was so crazy. So anyway, he's like, you gotta get in the shower. He's still, we're still not realizing, but I did, oh, I did say, I took that medicine, but he's like, that medicine wouldn't do that to you. He didn't know that I took too much. So anyway, so he says, come on, we gotta get in the shower. He's walking me to the shower. Uh, he's about to take off my clothes. He started the shower, he's about to take off my clothes and put me in the shower, but I just walked in the shower with my clothes on. And I said, it's not working, it's not working. I gotta lay down, please take me to the bed, please. And so I, in the meantime, I'm screaming, call my brother, call my dad, call my son. Now my oldest son was in the ER at that time. And he's like, what do you need? Why do I need to call them for? And in my head, I'm thinking, I said, you try to poison me. He didn't hear that, but that's what I was thinking in my head. That's why you won't call my family. <laughs> it was crazy. So he was like, they're not, they can't do nothing for you. And so I said, well, read, read what's the side effects of that medicine. I still don't, I keep forgetting to ask him, did he read it? That's another thing that I'm having is short-term memory loss just happened in there. I don't even know if it's called short-term memory loss because it happens like, I had, I was looking in a, for eggs. I said, no, I'm gonna go to Sam's Club for eggs. Then I went down the aisle and I was thinking, where did I say I was going and what did I say I needed? You know, that happened to me before, but it's happening more. So let me take a drink, hold on. <sighs> My good old vitamin water. <laughs> so anyways, so, he gets me back in the bed and it's getting worse. It's time, it's getting worse. So, but it's like you'll have two or three minutes of clarity. So you need to do what you need to do in between them two or three minutes because that craziness, I don't even know what it's called, is gonna kick back in. Then I, okay, so in be, while it's happening, first I'm shaking really bad, like really shaking. He puts all these covers on me. I'm shaking so bad, it's so cold. Then it turned so hot and I, that I'm trying to rip my skin off. I'm like this, going like this. And so then I get a some minutes of clarity. So I pull it, pull up the medicine. I keep trying to read what it would do. And I guess I was reading it, but I, in my mind, I wasn't reading it. So then I, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I know it's crazy. So then I'm trying to make sure nobody behind me. These people just walk in front of your car. So I read up, I finally found it. Finally found it, I don't know how long it took. And it says that you can overdose on it. So I'm like, well, still I'm not thinking I took too much. So it's some, I think one of the websites sent, showed a chart of what you were supposed to take. 
I was supposed to take a drop. Especially by it being my first time, I was supposed to only take a drop and I took the whole droplet. I was just supposed to drop a little bit under my tongue. I'm like, are you kidding me? I said, oh my God, I took too much. I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna die. It felt like I was dying. I kept thinking about my kids. Like, what is going on, y'all? I think I rolled over some snow or something. So, it says that, you know, you need to sleep and it's gonna, you know, hours are passing by and it's still getting worse. It says you need to sleep and you're gonna have psychotic uh, things happening. I'm gonna put it up here. When I put stuff up here, I hope you can see it, but I'll put it up here. I'll put the link to, yeah, I'll put the link to what, what it says that, what it says that it will happen, you know, what will happen to you, I'm sorry. So, my husband had to go to work and I felt so bad because this started at about two o'clock in the morning, the, the, the freak it out. And uh, he had to be to work at six. So he was up with me from two o'clock and he was like, I have to go to work, baby. You're gonna be okay, just go to sleep. I'm like, I'm scared, I'm crying, I'm screaming. I'm like, no, who will wanna get like this? Who will wanna have this feeling? And so I had read that you can overdose. It's not fatal. Some people want to run to the emergency room. You don't have to do that. It's not fatal, you know, because it, it, it's a natural substance, but you can take too much. So he leaves and it seems like it's calming down. Like, like before he leaves, my brain calmed down, calmed down, <laughs> calm, calmed down. And I had clarity for a little while and I'm like, because I thought I was dreaming. You know how you have a bad dream and you try to wake up? I thought I was dreaming. So I calmed down. I said, oh, my. he went to the bathroom and I said, oh my God, what happened to me? Why is this happening? I said, I can't believe this. So I'm thinking it's over. It's Then it pops right back after about 15 minutes. So anyway, he leaves. I said, let me try to eat something. I go in, in the kitchen. I'm holding on, going, you know, because it's like, oh, let me go back a little bit. When we were laying in the bed trying to calm me down, it felt like we were like this. And my head was here and our legs were sticking, like slanted. Oh, it was horrible. So anyway, I go in there and I make me a waffle. While I'm making me a waffle, it's like I see white unicorns standing like shadows, but you can really see that they're white unicorns and angels standing in my dining room. And I'm like, I'm dying. That's it. I'm like, oh my God, I'm dying. Oh my God. So I, I take my waffle, I go lay down. I'm like, let me just eat and just, it's good. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Then I said, no, this isn't happening. I'm telling myself in my brain, no, this isn't happening. Then I start talking out loud. I remember that. I start saying, no, you are not going to let this overtake you. You are going to get through this. But I just, my husband, I'm telling you, he was so amazing. He was so, so, now it didn't affect him. <laughs> it made him a little groggy, but it didn't affect him. My system is clean. I mean, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do none of that. So my system, it doesn't have that. I don't even, like I said, I don't take opioids. The strongest thing I take is a Plexarel. <laughs> and that's out my system. So I slept, I felt, but when I fell asleep, it was like, I was just so high, my eyes were wide open, just spit dripping off, and it, it was disgusting. But I finally fell asleep, and then he, you know, he kept calling the check. I mean, I said, just let me try to sleep. So he let me try to, you know, he let me sleep. And when I woke up, I was still groggy. And if you've seen my blog, my weekly vlog video, you can kind of tell, because that was, I got up, I got some clothes on, and that, you know, then we, we left, you know, he was like, come on, let's just try to walk it off. Yeah, that was the worst thing ever. Like the worst, I, I don't understand how somebody would want to be that high. That was so scary, y'all. It would, I don't want to cry because it, it, when I think about it and my husband says, I got to stop thinking about it. I was so scared. I was so, so scared. So it says it's supposed to wear off, but I'm still having effects of it. I'm, I, I, I'm good. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and I'm gonna talk to my doctor about it because I'm still having the effects, still. Like, why did this didn't come out? So, I'm sorry. Uh, um, like I said, the short-term memory loss, the nausea, feeling really tired, then I'm, the pain, 
it didn't take away the pain. I didn't feel the pain because I was going through all that. But I'm not about to go through that every time just not to feel pain. And then as soon as it's over with, your pain is right there. So I started taking my muscle relaxer. I've always been the type like, like back in the heydays when I did, you know, go out and party and drink. And then I, I didn't drink like maybe the next day but then the next day i might have had a drink and then brought it back up that's how i feel about the that medicine so i don't know if my me taking my muscle relaxer it brings it back out i don't know but that's what it feels like so i'm feel like i'm still dealing with it i'm still dealing with it that was so crazy y'all that it, it was just an experience I would never wish on nobody. I don't want to experience it ever again. Um, again, I'm so thankful for my husband because I don't know if I would have made that out of that one. I don't. It felt like you wanted to run in the street and just let a car hit you just to get it over with. It, it was that bad. It was that bad. And, you know, like, we kind of laugh about it now, but not laugh, laugh, because it's very serious. You know, like, I want to tell my story because be careful. Read. Uh, if you, I should have had my husband read it or I should have, you know, I should have researched it. That's the main thing. I should have researched it. I'm so appreciative to my family member that gave it to me because they're concerned about my pain and they know that I just need some relief. So that's why this week has been so hard. Like I can't sleep. Uh, last night, thank God, I finally got some sleep. That's why I feel a little better today. A little relief. The pain is never gone. And people are like, oh, I'll get better soon. I love that, but just pray for me to get some relief because unless a miracle happens, which I believe in miracles because I live in a house with two miracles and their their stories are gonna be coming soon too. Um, that was just really bad. It's called THC Tentra oil. I'll put a picture here. If I haven't already, I'll put another picture up. I'll leave a link, um, yeah. If y'all have experienced that, let me know. And when I do happen to go live, we'll still talk about it. But I had to tell you that. So I'm just praying that it doesn't have no lasting effects on me. Hopefully these are just something that's just happening and it'll go away. Because I'm already dealing with too much. I'm already dealing with too much. I can't take on another thing. So just keep me in your prayers. And I'm about to go into Kroger. And then I'll put my haul after this. If you have any questions, you can DM, you can DM, you can, <laughs> well, you can DM me if you follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, A Day with Romania. Very simple, A Day with Romania. And if you're not on my Facebook, type in A Day with Romania. I have a group and I have a page, A Day with, a Day with Romania. So follow me on all my platforms. And if you have any questions about it, you, you can send me a message. I don't have nothing to hide, real and raw. You can send me a message on here. Or you can email me a day with Romania at gmail.com, whatever. You know, let's talk about it because it's a scary thing. And if you are experiencing chronic pain or nerve pain, any kind of pain and something you might cope, use to cope. I was thinking about yoga, but this, and people are like, you need to lose weight. You need to work out. You have no clue. How much I just went through walking through all this. I have to pace myself. I have to breathe. My hands hurt. It's hard to lift heavy things. Like, you have no clue. <laughs> Nobody would want to make this up. So anyway, let me get into Kroger because I don't look crazy sitting here talking. And then I'll show you everything that I got from... I, I need to go to Sam's Club because... I need some eggs and they have the best deal. I, I don't buy regular eggs no more. I don't buy regular milk. I buy the cage free organic eggs or just cage free at least. Uh, and I think they're like three something for two dozen at Sam's and they're like $4 and something at Aldi's. I don't know how much they are in here. In Kroger's, I'm at Kroger's. But thank you for listening to my story. Don't click off because I'm gonna have my haul next. All right, y'all, I'll be back in a minute.